Hello, my name is Xiomara from Belly Passion. Welcome to Belly Dance Level 1. This video will focus on snake arms. Snake arms look like this. One arm goes up, the other arm goes down. So let's get started. Relax your knees, tuck in the pelvis, lift your upper body, relax your shoulders. We're going to start lifting the right shoulder, the right elbow, the wrist, and drop. And again, one, two, three, four. Make sure when you lift your elbow that you don't keep your wrist close to you. Imagine you are trying to reach for the wall next to you, all the way on the other side. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four. Let's keep now that arm between above your head and just over your, your rib cage. So we're gonna go one, two, stop. One, two, one, two. The elbow lifts the way. The elbow lifts and then drops. And lift and drop. Now make sure you give energy to your fingers. Otherwise, if you're like this, it's not gonna look nice and pretty. We want to make it look elegant so your fingers are nice and straight. And imagine you're painting the wall on the side. One. Two, one, two, one, two, one, down. Let's change to the left side. Make sure you're talking your stomach. You don't want lower pain. So we're gonna go shoulder, elbow, wrist, and hand. Let's do it again. One, two, three, and drop. One, two, Three, drop. One, two, three, drop. Now remember, keep it between the frame of above your head and at your rib cage level. So one, two, one, two. Your hand only changes when you reach that point. And change. And change. Sometimes we try to do this. No. Your hand has to go down and up and down and up if you pay attention to my hand the fingers will follow the wall when you go up the fingers are going down just like a paintbrush so you're gonna go down and up and down this is the best way to practice put your hand on the wall and just let your fingers follow one two three Four, don't get too close to the wall because this is what we don't want. We want actually farther. So that, that way you have to extend your arms and reach. Let's try this with music.
Let's move on now onto Persian hands. Persian hands look like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep one hand to the front facing the palm facing the front. The other hand, the palm, is facing us. So one and two. The palm that is facing us, you're going to lift it. Once you get to the top, you're going to change and change. So you will never see the palms either out or together at the same time. One is out, one is in. One, two. If we start from the beginning, I want you to paint the wall in the front. Imagine there is a wall in front of you and you're painting that wall down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Notice how my elbow is straight. We're not going to be doing this. Straight. My stomach is tucked in. Rib cage lifted. And you're painting the wall in front of you. Let's go with the left now. And one. And two. And one. And two. Good job. Now, we're going to do the same part with the hands in the front. Remember, one palm facing outside, one palm facing inside. The one facing inside is going to go up and then change. And then up and change. Let's do it slow. Again, palm out, palm facing us. And one, two, three, talking your stomach, four. One, two, every time you practice your hands or any movement in belly dance, try to do it slow first because you're trying to drill and you're trying to memorize those movements. A lot of these movements, we are not um, used to do them every day, so you have to let your body recognize them so that way you can practice later on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. So if we start again, one palm out, one palm in, and one. And two, and three, and four, good job, five, six. We usually do this movement sideways, that way we don't cover our face. One, two, imagine there is a wall, so your hands have to meet flat. Now this, no, flat, as if there was a wall in front of you. Let's go to the right, tuck in your stomach, lift your rib cage. This is a great exercise for your arms. That's why do it slow. Make sure you're using your wrist to lift, your wrist to drop. Take a deep breath. And let's try this with me.
Let's move on now on to hand waves. Hand waves is a pretty movement of the hands. And we do it usually while we're doing a movement on our hips. So that the hands don't look too stiff. And of course to express. Usually in some other dances. The hand when you go like this, you're showing your juice or your hand. Down your body. The silhouette of your body. So, what we're going to do is we're going to keep all the fingers glued together. Don't spread them. This doesn't look feminine and it's not the way we do the hand waves. We're going to keep the fingers together. Don't spread them apart. Even your thumb has to be together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press the knuckles down and then you're going to make a C shape as in cat and let go of your fingers as in a wave in the ocean. When you let go of your fingers, you tuck in your knuckles right away and start the pattern all over again. Tuck in, C shape, bend and strain your fingers and tuck in. C shape, let go of your fingers and tuck in. Let's move it up and one and two. Make sure you can see your thumb out like this or like this. Thumb is tucked in also. One, two. Make sure you really press your knuckles down to add more shape to that wave. Also, you can try like this. Touch from the bottom of your hand all the way to the tip of your fingers and let go. And one, and let go. One, two, three, four. Make sure your elbows are out. Lift your ribcage and squeeze your stomach in. Sometimes also you can go as if you were touching the water. Go around. Or you can do mysterious eyes. One, two, three, four. Let's go on the right. One, two, three, four. Outline your body. One, two, three, four. Let's try this with music. Yeah.